Today in the BTC chart, we've got something interesting going on. Is Bitcoin getting rejected from this high time frame resistance here? Are we going to revisit the new lows? This is what we're going to discover in this video here. Very quick technical analysis on BTC. What's going on here with Bitcoin? Now, if we zoom in into this chart, we have a clear defined range for BTC here that we are ranging here. As I've shown you in previous Bitcoin updates videos, we have this support resistance, this SR level here around the 28,900 to 29k level and we can see that we got a rejection from it now this is the first test of this level here let's not forget this is like the 30k 29k area this is some sort of a psychological level meaning that anyone who bought on these lows here they were up around 80 percent any of those big hedge funds any whales that got in they made a quick 80 percent and the whales and the big players who buy big on bitcoin you know they don't do too much technical analysis and to them this is a nice price 15 16k is a nice price to buy bitcoin and 30k is a nice price to sell bitcoin they do not think this is a technical analysis problem some elliot waves or some fancy technical analysis they just think this is 30k we sell at 30k that's it or 25k as we've seen also at around 25k we had a major resistance there also because it's psychological level it's a round number it makes sense to most people that to sell at 25k and to buy at 15k sell at 25k and again sell at 30k but but now technical analysis can also help us define targets and also see what people are thinking so this way we can predict what the market is gonna do now if we go to the daily things makes more sense here we have a, a sort of a small accumulation zone here before we had the huge dump lower we went right into it here couldn't pass through it usually those clusters mean that there is a lot of liquidity there and also a lot of orders, a lot of price, a lot of previous price action. Usually this signifies that this is a strong level to pass. Recently we had this range here that was holding us up the 27k level. You can see now that we are kind of fighting to stay above water here, above 26, 27k. This week clearly defined that bulls are in control here. A lot of orders, a lot of people were interested in buying BTC at 25k and then price surged right after it a few days. But now we are getting back below this massive range here and this signifies that there is weakness in the market i wouldn't like to be long right now on btc as this really shows a lot of weakness going on here as btc is curling back down forming this dome that's what we got here as well we got this level here broken the same thing as here we had the same thing happen here and this could also as well happen here again right so a lot of people are thinking the same this is gonna happen as we get this bounce back a bounce back up but now the situation is different back then we just went out of a major low yearly long bear market and this was the first hopping off pattern this gave a chance to all people that missed the lows here to get back into the market so this opportunity was given in this area Area here but now this is a different perspective here so basically what we got here is like a wave to wave situation so basically here is the first wave that we call the disbelief wave and then the second wave was now where we are this is the wave where everyone got into the market around this area here and then everyone made profits left the market and those that still war on the sidelines nobody would want to get into this range here because now the risk to reward is a bit high even if we push towards 35k it's only a 30 percent while people that bought the lows here to 30k was much better while the people that bought down here that got the retest and the entry back at 20k they made around 50 percent so to them was a much better risk to reward as well as the drop down to 16k was still a good move so, so they can accumulate more but now from here the risk is high as if we drop back to the lows is a 40% drop and for a mere 30% move up which is a risk here to the downside my levels for now are this one here so this would be around 20k now if you've seen my previous video about the CME gap now here we see that in the previous video I said that we have a CME gap that's usually those CME gaps they get filled and we got one right here that needs to get filled around the 20k level area exactly here this would be a very very strong support especially since now we had we've been really ranging for a long time the market is bored we've been ranging for almost 60 days the same range between 26k and 30k which also means that a huge 
huge move is on the horizon we could see a quick move to the downside or even to the upside but the downside is way more likely for now what we could see is a quick move here and this could also form some sort of a wave like the same pattern we've seen here anyone would see this as a head and shoulders pattern if it forms now everyone will want to short this and this could be another money grab now gets the price lower below slightly below maybe 19k a quick move like the one we see here and send the price up higher again this would be a very very likely scenario now what we are having here so around this point the 28k area this would be my high time frame target for getting into the market getting back into the market i would be really happy to short anything in this box here and i would also be happy to get anything to buy here in this area here and now there is one more thing as well if we look at this pattern here we could see that we had the same one back in 2021 here we had basically the same pattern forming up the first wave was a disbelief wave after a long three months of sideways we had the second wave so basically it's the same we had a two wave move the first one was a disbelief and the second one was the actual top where people sold and the market topped now we have clear targets whenever we get any pump back up toward 30k i'm shortening this anything at 20k i'm longing this these are high time frame trades swing trades remember nothing is financial advice this is purely my opinion and what i am doing with btc these days if you want to know a simple cryptocurrency trading strategy day trading strategy watch this video here cheers